Australia, or the Commonwealth of Australia, is a sovereign state made up of the Australian continent's interior, the island of Tasmania, as well as several other smaller islands. Australia is the sixth biggest country in the world and the largest country by area in Oceania, with a total land area of 7,617,930 square kilometers. Hello, you are welcome. In this video, I will walk you through the process of the top 10 places to live in Australia. But before we start, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell, so that you will never miss out on future videos, let's get started. Number 10. Byron Bay. Beach lovers, travelers, and nomads all love Byron Bay for its beaches, whale viewing, and organic cuisine. Byron Bay is known for its wild coastline, scrubby cliffs, and cool beaches, but it also has a laid-back vibe that lures visitors and keeps them coming back. Here in this town, formerly known as Cavanba, which means meeting place, which bears the name of the famed poet Lord Byron's grandfather, there is a hippie by the sea vibe. However, Sunrise is a more affordable area of town that is only 10 minutes by bicycle from the city centre and is still quite near to the beach. With its tiny homes and charming gardens, Lilypilly Byron is also a lovely area to live. In Byron Bay, as in most of the nation, surf culture is a hot topic. You may fill up at one of the many vegan or vegetarian restaurants, eat at food carts, or have a drink or two at one of the town's bars while you're not hitting the beach, or the surf. It can be a good idea to first visit and acquire a sense of Byron Bay before relocating there. Number 9. Sydney. Sydney and its attractions are the ideal choices for nomads who want a taste of metropolitan life. Sydney may not be Australia's capital, but it is its largest city, and this is where all the action takes place. Consider how much time you could spend enjoying Asian cuisine in the city's Chinatown, surfing at Bondi Beach during the day, and hanging out at the Sydney Opera House during the evenings. Although Sydney's city centre can be expensive, we would mostly recommend the area because it's just a short ferry journey to the city with all the other commuters. Surrey Hills, a historically working-class area of the city that is now gentrified, Sydney may boast several gleaming skyscrapers and glossy landmarks like the Opera House, but if you look a little closer, you can see remnants of the city's former life. We also suggest visiting Chinatown's night market for a late-night foodie buzz. A diversified community, Darlinghurst was once the city's Jewish enclave and is now a liberal, LGBTQ welcoming neighborhood. Number 8. Hobart. The city of Hobart, which serves as a gateway to Tasmania's natural beauty, is an excellent location for a retreat. Hobart, the capital of Australia's island state of Tasmania, is surrounded by Mount Wellington, 1270m, which can be ascended via the park's many paths. The town itself is a great spot to roam about on your days off because it is full of charming ancient structures, such as Salamanca Place from the 1830s. We suggest beginning your search at North Hobart while looking for a neighborhood to call home in Hobart. This laid-back, welcoming suburb has parks and a good feel, it used to be a little rough around the edges, but not anymore. Battery Point is another excellent choice, but a little more expensive. Battery Point is a hip hangout for travelers who enjoy sipping coffee because the colonial-style buildings there are now home to a wide variety of stores and cafes. In addition, if you're interested in art, you should check out the Museum of Old and New Art, or MONA, which was once dubbed a subversive adult Disneyland by its founder. Number 7. Perth. Perth is a relaxed coastal city getaway for nomads because of its proximity to white sand beaches and historic buildings. Perth, the capital of Western Australia, is one of the world's most isolated cities. With deserts to the north, south, and east, as well as a vast open sea to the west, there is a lot of open space to enjoy if you enjoy being outside. This is especially true when you are in the city itself. If you want a wonderful spot to live in Perth that is full of quirky vintage stores and adorable bakeries, go to Maylands. As an alternative, Fremantle, a coastal suburb in Western Australia, is a laid-back, less expensive place to base yourself. You can also get some fantastic views of Perth from this higher vantage point. The beaches of Perth are another draw to the city. Go to Bathers Beach, so named for obvious reasons, city, and Cottesloe Beach to relax and take in the endless Indian Ocean views. Aside from the area around Rottnest Island, there is nothing else out there till Madagascar. Number 6. Melbourne. Melbourne is an excellent choice for nomads looking for alternative city life because of its music scene and bohemian vibes. Melbourne, the hip capital of Victoria, is a top Australian city with residents from over 200 different nations, 
For example, it is home to the largest Greek community outside of Greece. The city's numerous festivals, from food markets to cultural events, reflect the city's multiculturalism. Fitzroy is a hipster district with a quirky vibe where you can discover lots of coffee shops, vegetarian hangouts, and street art. Another choice is Windsor, which has a large population of students and areas with excellent Wi-Fi and affordable dining. There are a lot of cultures here, and, believe it or not, it was classified by UNESCO for its literature. There are many festivals to attend, including the International Jazz Festival, Film Festival, and Writers Festival. Additionally, there are markets to explore. You can find high-end dining, late-night nibbles, new wave food trucks, and a ton of locations to get a great cup of coffee. Number 5. Wollongong. Wollongong, Australia's Grand Pacific Drive, is a haven for sea-loving nomads and a center of coastal living. Wollongong is all about living by the sea, it's that simple. Wollongong is located 90 minutes south of Sydney, at least by car. If you enjoy surfing or simply gazing at the sea, this is the place for you. There are beaches, rock pools, cliff walks, and a variety of other natural distractions nearby. There are numerous shopping centers and eateries around, all close to the CBD. Another great place to live in Wollongong is Woonona, which is in the northern part of the city and is close to the beach as well as a variety of restaurants. Since it isn't so big, you can get around on foot and check out the city's hip, trendy, and unusual cafe, bar, and restaurant scene. To see plenty of Australian and Native American art, visit the Wollongong City Gallery, which is located in the center of the city. The city hosts the Wonderwalls Festival each year, where you can see enormous works of art painted on the city walls. Number 4. Brisbane. Brisbane, the capital of Queensland, is the ideal destination for everything that city living has to offer. There is a lot more to this big metropolis than first appears. From the botanic gardens on Mount Kutda to the weekend farmers markets where you can buy fresh, organic products, there is a lot of culture going on here. There is a lot of dining to be done and a wholesome restaurant scene to discover. If Brisbane seems appealing to you, consider moving to New Farm. This neighborhood is known for its parks, nightlife, and historic structures. An especially attractive spot to stay in Brisbane is Spring Hill, an inner district with many parks and groups of Victorian buildings. Powerhouse Farmers Market is a great option for foodies because it offers both gourmet foods and fresh fruit and vegetables while you explore. We advise taking a cruise down the Brisbane River to help you familiarize yourself with the city. It's a relaxing way to spend an afternoon and a terrific opportunity to see all the many architectural styles and parks that this city has to offer. Number 3. Gold Coast. Vanta is a convenient alternative for nomadic travelers on a tight budget because it's only a 20-minute rail journey from Helsinki. The Gold Coast is a city located south of Brisbane. This entire area has flourished as a beach resort, popular with surfers of course, ever since the Surfer's Paradise Hotel started up in the 1920s. However, the length and breadth of the extremely large beach itself are quite astounding, making it ideal for anyone who enjoys the sensation of sand beneath their toes. Living in Southport is significantly less expensive than in Gold Coast, despite Gold Coast often being on the pricey side. On the Gold Coast, which is a well-liked vacation spot for both tourists and locals, there are many attractions geared toward tourists, including theme parks like Dreamworld and Warner Brothers. After a long day of surfing, foodies may find Miami Marquita by navigating the city's remarkable skyline of high-rise buildings. A variety of street foods are available here, all of which can be enjoyed while listening to live music and being paired with freshly crafted cocktails, of course. Number 2. Adelaide. Adelaide is a great city for interested nomads to explore because it is cultural and global. If you enjoy old architecture, Adelaide, the capital of South Australia, is the place to visit because it has a lot of it. Adelaide is a fascinating and pretty historic city. Due to the overwhelming number of churches that can be found on its carefully designed and grid-organized streets, Adelaide is known as the City of Churches. Brompton is a hip neighborhood in Adelaide where you can live. This area is close to the city center and has a lot of hipster hangouts. It is also great for cheap eats and drinks and vintage shopping. Start your city explorations at the 150-year-old South Australia Museum, which houses the largest collection of indigenous artifacts in the nation. You should attend a sporting event at the Adelaide Oval, ideally a cricket match. These are boisterous and thrilling. After that, fill up at Adelaide Central Market, which dates back to 1869, 
or head to the city's old but still operational Chinatown to savor the delectable treats. Number 1. Cairns. People who want to view life beneath the waters frequently visit Cairns, which is known as the Great Barrier Reef's entrance. Australia begins to turn tropical in Cairns, which is located in the region of far north Queensland. People frequently stop in Cairns on their route to the Whitsunday Islands and or the world-famous Great Barrier Reef, but the city itself boasts its fair share of stunning natural settings, including a reef and rainforest. Consider moving to Cairns. Then you want to think about relocating to the community of Cairns North, a welcoming region that is also close to Flecker Botanical Garden, more affordable than other areas of the city. In this northern region of the nation, there is a lot of nature to be experienced. For instance, the Mossman Gorge in the adjacent Daintree Rainforest has beautiful pathways that snake through the rich vegetation. Get your art fix at the Cairns Art Gallery, CAG, before heading to one of the city's many cafes to fill up on tasty fare.